Hi, welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Monday, December 14th. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor of Prospect Presbyterian Church in Maplewood, New Jersey, and Take a Break, Take a Breath is an invitation to pause in your day, to stop all of the activity and all of the busyness, to stop all of the noise, and just be present and center yourself in God who made you, who loved you, and who calls you by name. Each time I record one of the videos, I've been talking about a different psalm, and we are up to Psalm 114 today. Psalm 114 is, a, is one of the praise psalms, although it is a distinctive one, because it does not ever call people to praise. It does not ever say, praise the Lord. It invites us to pray by giving us all the reasons to pray before God takes us through the story of the Exodus, referring to different events, when they went out of, from Egypt, when the waters of the sea are rolled back, when the mountains skip, when the water flows from the rock. Those are all pieces of the story of the Exodus and the wandering in the wilderness. And verse 7 is the climax of the whole thing. Uh, verse 7 is the verse I want to focus on for today. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Trevin, tremble here means um, to be excited and in awe, like when we're uh, in the presence of an overwhelming power or force and we tremble just a bit. It does not mean to be afraid as much as um, to have a very, very, very healthy respect for God uh, in this case. So I invite you to go to a place if you haven't already done so that is quiet in your house and if the room has a door, close the door and settle into a chair and, uh, and allow yourself to relax into that chair, to feel the comfort and strength of that chair. To be aware of your surroundings for just a moment. Is it sunny or is it um, cloudy? Is it a bright room or a dimly lit room? Is it a warm room or a cool room? What are the sounds that you hear coming from other places? And then close your eyes. And take some deep breaths. And as you breathe in, breathe in the breath of God. As you breathe out, breathe out all that separates you from God. Breathe in the breath of life. And breathe out all that separates you from life. Breathe in God's peace and assurance and breathe out all of your fears and worries and anxieties. Continue to breathe deeply. With each breath, let the peace and presence and relaxation of God come to you. Imagine that it comes to you in this way. Imagine that there is a very gentle waterfall and it looks like that waterfall flow, that water just flows right out of a rock. It's not a high waterfall, but it's just high enough for you to get under it. And the flow of the water is gentle. And so, as the water runs down over you, the peace of God spreads in you. And when you step under the water and the water falls on your head, it brings calm to your mind. And all of the things that have been rushing around in your mind relax and slow. And as it washes down over your face, it causes you to smile and for your muscles in your jaw to relax. As it runs down over your neck, you can feel the refreshment of that water on your neck and it, it 
causes the muscles to relax and maybe you roll your head around a little bit as it relaxes. And as it runs down over your shoulders and your arms and your hands, your shoulders, muscles, if they've been knotted up, they unknot. Um, the tensions are gone. And if your hands have been closed, you open them. As it runs down your back, all of the pains and things that you've been carrying around in your back, they're released. As it runs down over your chest, your breathing continues to be deep and calm and slow. And your heart rate calms and slows. And as it runs down over your stomach, your stomach is calmed if it has been upset. If you have been jittery in your stomach, if the jitters calm down and slow, as it runs down over your waist and your thighs and your calves and your feet, all of those muscles are relaxed. And you are feeling renewed and refreshed from head to toe. But you know that you are immersed in the peace and presence of God. then you decide to walk out of that pool of water and up some stairs to the top of the waterfall. And you come upon this most glorious and beautiful lake. There's a walkway along the edge of the lake and you walk for a little bit and then there's a place to sit and you settle down into a chair to take in the awesome, amazing glory of God's creation. It's a calm and peaceful place. You become aware of a presence with you. How, how, how does that presence come to you? You know it is God. Does it come in the form of someone like a human? Does it come in a gentle breeze? Does it come in some other way? Is the light of the sun shining on you? As you sit there, you feel close to God. And you recognize that God is able to communicate with you in this moment. And so the two of you begin to talk back and forth. What do you want to say to God? And what does God want you to hear? I'll be quiet while you talk and listen. And then the time comes for the conversation to end. So you end it in whatever way is appropriate. And then you allow that image to fade away. And you bring yourself back to the room where you are. And when you are ready, open your eyes. 
Well, that's take a break, take a breath for Monday, December 14th. If you have feedback for me or um, you want to talk or pray, send an email to rick at prospectchurch.org.